Now, this person, this famous person that I ended up serving basically, isn't even that crazy famous. It's just somebody that is kind of like iconic and dope in their own like kind of B-list-ish way. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. Yes, hello and welcome to this installment of Food Made by Babushkas. And by that I mean old grandmamas in churches who make the best homemade delights. And those are pierogies, cabbage rolls, and sausages. And I'm very, very excited to get into this. Now, before we get started, I want to address the elephant in the room. I know you're looking over my shoulder and you're saying, Sir, there's a new member of the team here that I don't recognize. And you'd be right. Uh, I have officially cold my soul. And I'm actually very, very okay with it. So before we get into the video, if you like to keep your beverages glacial for millennia, and by millennia, I mean up to 36 hours, this is your guy to do that with. For me, it's the 21 ounce. I like to have the soccer size, the hockey practice size, the brisk walk in the park and have a bologna sandwich size. That's what I'm rocking with, the 21 ouncer. If you would like to get one for yourself or any other of the sizes, hit the links down below. You can save 10% by putting in code HOODIE. And also you can enter to get a free one in their draw that they do, I think, every week or so. Before we do anything more, we must. A papa. Papa. -pa. Pour. And today we have a nice glass of ice. We're actually going to reach back to our friend here, Mr. Coldis, and we're going to pour from him. What are we working with? It's a mystery, but in honor of the fact that it's a water bottle, it's going to be water. Yes, I am going with water because lately the diet pops have just been getting excessive and I'm needing to put a little bit of a kibosh on that. Also, this is a homegrown, nice little meal. It's a little more healthy-ish, but not really. I just wanted to keep it a little more level with the water. As you can see up front here has gotten very problematic with the forward angle and the sour cream dreams that are happening with the tomato sauce and the cabbage roll. It's just become quite the... Uh, hot, steamy, waterfall-esque nightmare of a cabbage roll. But I can get fully on board for it. Look at that, inside rice and some beef. What a classic cabbage roll should be. You know what? You guys know I need a, a nice amount of sour cream. I really hope this doesn't scold my mouth. Scald my mouth. Scolding is totally different. Scolding is to yell at somebody like a child. Scalding is to burn. It's an English major around here. I don't know about y'all, but I love a home style type meal like this. Cabbage rolls, pierogies, things like that. If you do as well, please let me know down below. All right, now these are the pierogies. Like I said, handmade by Grandmama. I put them in a little oil with some onions, crisped them up. Quite crispy, that's how I like them. Pan fried. Usually I'd throw in some bacon, but I don't have any on hand. Cheesy potato wrapped in a dough. It's essentially a dumpling, if you really think about it. They're perfect and amazing. It's 
to my childhood. I used to eat them so, so often. Although, my stepmom always served ham on the side, so that's why I got the sausages. Pepperoncini dreams, baby. I don't know what classifies as like soul food, but this to me feels like Polish soul food. Mmm. That snap. This is a cheese sausage. Mm -mm. That's ridiculously good. Ridiculously good. Wow. Man, the flavor punch on this. That's just wild. All right, so before we get into this cabbage roll, I want to tell you guys like a bit of a story about um, kind of a famous person incident that I had. I've had many. Um, living in Toronto, worked at a bunch of restaurants that were, you know, fairly regarded or whatever, kind of sought after by a lot of people so having worked in a few restaurants that were kind of like new fresh kind of ringing bells in the streets like you know a lot of people were trying to get to them trying to taste them trying to try them you know you would end up with some famous people there because you know toronto's a place where famous people end up for various reasons either they live there they visit they're they're working there they're shooting there whatever what have you i don't usually like fangirl out or fanboy out for famous people too much like i kind of just and when i do meet them or see them i just kind of let them be i don't get too inquisitive or too like over the top but uh everybody has that like a couple people that they really like truly vibe and think are really dope now this person this famous person that i ended up serving basically isn't even that crazy famous it's just somebody that is kind of like iconic and dope in their own like kind of b-list-ish way but i really like fucked with his vibe as just him in his role uh, on the show that he was on and this show <laughs> will be like you guys will be like wow you really watch that and mostly in my audience women will connect with this um but i was a low-key secret but that, not that low-key secret but definitely like a closet watcher of the OC. So for those of you who don't know, the OC was kind of like a hit, I think MTV show back in the day, like in the early 2000s. And um, it was very just like high schooly, like California come. It's Orange County coming of age like uh, just drama filled mostly like it kind of appeals to more like teen women but at the same time it has that universal appeal of like the teen high school experience but just out in like a way more like rich American West Coast kind of completely unrelatable vibe but I think that's why people watched it a lot was because you know going through high school in a buttfuck town like mine some instances were relatable but also that show gave you like the feeling of like that dope those those house parties, the pool parties, the the nice cars. It had all the glitz and the glam, right? So I was a religious watcher of the OC. To be honest, me and my buddies used to get baked and watch it. I 
we were legitimately all into it. So anyways, so for any of you who've ever watched a TV show or a season before, you know that you develop obviously like those favorite characters. And for me in the OC, I developed like love for basically Cohen family members. And those of you who are avid watchers, you know who the Cohen family is. And it's, you know, quite a good chance that you probably vibe with them too because they were such likable characters, right? So, I end up working at this uh, new, hip, cool, like authentic um, Napolitana style pizzeria in the West End of Toronto as a server. So this place I was working became very popular, you know, it just, we had lineups all the time. We were always waitlisted. It was just, it was a destination kind of restaurant for people to try. Uh, you know, it was slated as some of the best pieces in Toronto, da, 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 da. So of course it had kind of that like allure to it. So, you know, we would get a bunch of like kind of famous or like high status people coming to try it basically. So one day, I'm working on the bar and the bar was like the host stand was right there and then the bar like the takeout counter was there and the bar was right here and there's like the punching area and all that blah 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 and the hostess was away from her stand just seating people or whatever and I kind of had my back turned and was doing a bunch of shit and then I hear this voice from behind basically just like requesting my attention for a table and uh I spin around and in front of me is his real name in real life as an actor is Peter Gallagher but uh, in the OC Sandy Cohen so Sandy Cohen is the dad in the OC and at least for me I think for a lot of people too Sandy was like he's such a G like he was such a lovable character and, uh, you know, he had quite the, the loving following across the hearts of teens across the world. Because he was just such like a nice, likable guy on the show. So, boom, it's Peter Gallagher. I'm just like, it clicks. And in my head, I'm like, Sandy Cohen, like, what up? <laughs> like, I'm just stoked because I just... I love this character that much. And then the bar, there was this front seating area, a little, like six tables up in front of the bar that the bar would be responsible to serve outside of the whole restaurant. And a table had just opened up basically as he asked. And uh, so he ended up sitting there with his guest and then I just ended up serving him I didn't make a big deal at all I didn't acknowledge that I loved him in the, the show or anything I just served him like a normal person because I don't know I would just, that's how I would like to be treated. If I was in that position, especially being that the, he was with someone and they're obviously having like their night out and that, I just didn't want to be, you know, I didn't want to impose or anything. So, so I just sat him and served him and he was just as cool in real life as he was on the show. Pretty much same guy. Just really nice. Normal. Humble. Tip well. 
all that. Not high maintenance, nothing like that. So pretty much just the same guy on the on the show. And I know he's kind of like B-list, or he's just you know he's just on this TV show, and he, he's acted in, in some movies and stuff, I think. But you know, I don't really take a loving to a lot of like actors or famous people or anything like that. But he was somebody who, while I watched that show, like I felt really like, you know, this guy's cool as fuck. Like I really fuck with this guy. I don't know why, but I do. Like I really enjoy this dude. Well, definitely his character, but even as an actor as well, right? And mainly because I feel like through the character, I could feel like that's probably who he was. Like, in real life. And it came to be true. over my the course of my time working in different restaurants in Toronto I have served a good handful of like more B-list celebrities for sure never an A I don't think no I think more B-ish So, if in future videos you guys want to hear more about those stories, I can certainly share them. This one was long enough to endure this meal. Which is a fantastic meal, by the way. The sausages. We're stupid good. The pierogies. Second best. Cabbage rolls in third, but cabbage rolls are also very, very good too. I am uh, quite satisfied off that. If I go any further, It'll be a hurting gut nightmare, so I'm not going to do that. I hope you enjoyed that one. I certainly did. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.